During the Children's Hospital Christmas Tree Project, I've been using SaneSmart filament to do the test lithophane prints. How does it measure up? Let's talk about that a little bit. SaneSmart sent me a roll of their white PLA filament and their transparent pink PET G, which I use in my volcano print because I want to put a light in here and have it kind of shine through a little bit so that was cool but let's let's talk a little bit about their white filament and how it worked for my lithophane projects now is it good filament sure but it's hard to get excited about having good filament everybody's got good filament and saying smart has good filament. I actually did find it a little bit stringy at first, but then I adjusted my retraction setting and that just went away and it was fine. So that was on me, just a little bit of adjustment with it. Now, while their filament is good, but not exciting good, their spool is great. In the past, I've talked about the Master Spool Initiative, which is something that I believe in and still believe in a lot. Same smart doesn't use the master spool filament. But if you're not going to use the master spool, this is the way to go. Look at this spool. I mean, look at how thin this thing is. It uses the minimum amount of material that it can, and that means that this spool is less waste and uses less material. Like I say, if you're not going to do the master spool, that's the way to do it. Plus, they put holes for you to put your filament in every quarter of the way around and it is the most beautiful and meticulous coiling that i have ever seen before i got my hands on it and started uncoiling it but the point is this is just the most beautiful smooth coil i've ever seen and because it's such a beautiful and perfect and smooth coil they can put markings on the side telling you how much filament you have left when you cross this mark you've got look at that i've got a hundred meters left to go now now i don't like them measuring it in meters i wish it were measured in grams that just means that i need to figure out how many grams per meter and do some math so that i can figure it out but whatever it, it doesn't matter it's a it's a measurement system and it's beautiful and that only works if your coil is tight and regular and their coil is the most beautiful i've ever seen so overall same smart filament good filament fantastic gorgeous beautiful spool if you're not going to go with the master spool this is is the best alternative I've ever seen. And it's something that I wish that other people would follow. I wish that the master spool would be more like this with more places to dock and, and maybe even make an attempt at giving you an idea of how much you've got looking at the roll. This is just elegant and gorgeous. I do. I really enjoy it. I love it. And since we have a new filament, I have printed a handful of supporter tiles with it. These were all printed in the transparent purple. Although they call it transparent purple, it's clearly pink. Yeah, clear, trans, clearly. I'm hilarious. Thank you very much, Ginny Perry Newman, for your support. Jimmy D. Solomon. I've got one here for Drew Williams and one here for Alex Michael. James. And then the last one, the big one, is Rob Thompson for your $100 support on the Low Poly Dino Kickstarter. And there's the dinosaur that you supported, that you requested when you supported. This particular tile was a pain in the neck for me to print. One time I forgot to turn on the fan, which made it just look terrible. One time I got a weird, inexplicable layer shift happen, which ruined the whole thing. And then one time I printed it, I printed Pet G with PLA settings, which results in a print that's just brittle, like peanut brittle and oh, it's, ugh. but I finally got it right. And so now I get to take these tiles, all of them, I get to put them up on my supporter uh, mosaic. And you know that I love doing that because it's just like building a puzzle and I love that. Besides that, I really want to thank my friends at Sane Smart for sending this and, and helping me out with this Christmas tree project that 
I'd like you to be a part of, and if you haven't already seen the video for that, there will be a link in the cards that you can check out. But that's all for today. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. And hey, did you know that I'm social now? I'm on Discord and I'm really enjoying it, but I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. So whatever your flavor is, there's a link in the description for you. Big thanks to my Patreon and direct backers. You guys are the wind beneath my wings. Thank you. Thank you very much. And as always, I want to remind you guys, safety first. I'll see you next time. Thank you.